Good morning. Hi, I'm Deanne Fitzpatrick, and this is the live uh, Thursday live at the Ann Fitzpatrick Studio. And I'm just drawing a big pattern for to go. We always have two original, two large original patterns out in the front of the studio. And this is a sort of, well, it's kind of a homage to the hooking neutrals. I think this would be beautiful in, for, for the hooking neutrals class. Um, so I always have, yeah, a couple of original designs. And when I have, so now I've got the pattern drawn on, but now is my time to put in all the little details. So I'm just going to go around and just add some details to this pattern. You know, that I think will enhance it. So that's how I do it. I just draw the first thing on and then I, I think I want some more lines here. And then this pattern is pretty much done. And I'm going to grab my coffee, my little pour over. It's like the first thing I do when I come in here in the mornings. Um, I should name this though. So it was things I found at the beach and uh, things, we'll call this one things I met at the sea. I'm going to grab my coffee and we need to hook. We need to get our hooking out. So let's see what we got going. I'm hoping my friend Lily shows up. I don't know if she's going to be here in time. So we were working on this last week and I used that big earth tone. I had this, got some velvet in here. And now I'm going to take, so this is kind of a layered landscape. I'm going to take this. I forget what this is called. I'm sorry, but if you go on our studio dives, it's there. So when I do these layered landscapes, how did I get this so tangled up? Okay, there we go. When I do that layered landscape, I'm just gonna, I'm not always hooking in the direction. I love seeing, like I'm not always hooking in the direction. Sometimes I'm just, so this is a little area here that I'm just gonna fill in. And uh, the neutrals course price, I think it, right now it's still at $49.95, but I just haven't had time to change it. We're probably going to change that today and put it up to its regular price of $69.95, hooking neutrals. It's still a great deal at that. Probably um, we did like a pre-registration or a pre-sale where it was $49.95, but that will change today. Uh, yes, today. Okay, I'm going to get this color in here. I love how this is changing from brown to beige, just like right before my eyes. It's so gorgeous. Ooh. So last week we weren't mic'd properly and we have a mic for Mary this week. We actually bought some extra mics, but our little system will only hold two mics. So we're gonna have to pass that mic around and Angela, what did we do after the thing last week? Do you remember? What did we do after after our live last week? Do you remember what we did? I don't remember. We made a checklist. Oh, yes. <laughs> we made a checklist so we'd remember all the little things. We're just trying to deliver you a better live. That's all we're trying to do. Vicky, Vicky our friend Vicky was in today and she had made a comment last week that she couldn't hear Mary. But you know, we are not a television production studio, we're a rug hooking studio. <laughs> so I just try to keep that in perspective, you know, but still we want to do a good job and we want you to be able to hear us when we're talking. So Lorna, what are you working on down the basement there? You mean my mess of papers? <laughs> All those papers? She's like, how do you do it? How do you it do it? How do you keep it straight? I was mm. like, this our, re -cloth, our wool cloth has just gotten re-loaded um, on the page. You can see that if you were looking at wool cloth and it was sold out, it's probably back there now. And the question for the week, what are we gonna ask this week? Let's think. Well, we've talked a lot about New Year's resolutions. and Let's go somewhere else. Let's go in a different direction. I think it's time to ask the book question again. What is the book that you've been reading 
that you want to let people know about. So what is it that you've read probably in the last six months or the last year that when you go out to a group of people and you're socializing, you say, you want to, you want to talk about it. You want to tell people about it. Tell us that book. That's a good, that's always a good question because then all our listeners and all our watchers get Um, well, I'm a pretty steady reader. Right now I'm reading The Fortunate Brother by Donna Morrissey, and uh, it's really a beautiful book. I just can't get over how she writes and the way she brings, um, like the metaphors that she uses and the way she brings uh, words together. And I also just read a book by Wayne Johnson. So I've been reading Newfoundland books. I went to Newfoundland in November, so. So think about the books and write it down, what you have. So I'm using a wool cloth now, and, and it's been washed, so it comes up really soft. When you wash your wool cloth, it'll come up a lot softer. And you can see I'm layering my landscape. And I told you last week, this just kind of reminds me of some rugs that Doris Eaton did in grays and blues that, are real, that were really beautiful. Of course, I'm using the neutrals because that's what I've been thinking about lately. Uh, we did another basement video yesterday, and I think Angela's going to put them all together into our own home reno show, aren't you, Angela? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our own home reno show. So uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, I ordered one more set. We hung a set of string lights, and Igor, who works in the basement, said, yeah, we could use another. So... I think we hang two sets of string lights over the area that where the ceiling isn't painted and just to add some prettiness and brightness there. I love the lights. They're really cool. They're really cool, aren't they? I know. I love, especially this time of year, I love a little extra light. So I want to get this peak in here. So I'm not going to worry about my lines. I'm going to run out of this wool before I'm able to finish my lines. So, But I do want that peak in here. So I'm going to get that in. Look at that. And you'll see where I hand cut the wool. It's very, very textural. Like, look at that. It's very, it's going to be very lumpy and bubbly. And I like that personally. Now I'm going to move to a different area. Oh, uh, where's that velvet? Do I have more of that velvet sticking around here? Or did I take it out of here? No, oh, there it is. So I'm going to bring this velvet and we just got to roll that up again. Just take it and roll it around your hand like that. And then cut it up. All right. I'm going to get that velvet twisted off here, hooked up. Oh, I have a whole other line. I don't even know if I have enough to do the whole thing, but I'm going for it. And see, I'm, sometimes I'm using very fat pieces. It's going to come up as a very chunky. And then sometimes I'm going to cut these little scraps. Use everything you got. And if you ever think you're running out when you're working with cloth, if you just can cut it a little bit thinner, then that might hold you, get you through. I wonder what kind of books people, I'm going to read all your book suggestions afterwards. There we go, I'm going to bring up a bigger one now. I've been making, when I had everybody for lunch here, I've been making um, egg salad. And it's an egg salad with cream cheese and mayonnaise and olives and Worcestershire sauce. And it's just delicious. We call it Mum Mum's eggs. We call it Mum Mum's cheese spread, actually, because there's cream cheese in it. I don't know. Did you like that, Lorna, when we had it for lunch at the... I didn't, I didn't try it. You didn't try it. No, you're more of a plain egg salad kind of person. 
aren't you? I hear it was really good. Yeah, it was. It's really good. So my friend is coming today for lunch, so I made that for lunch. Um, here we go. I think you, Angela, said it was really good. Did you like it, Angela? I don't like egg salad. Oh, you don't oh, like okay. so it wasn't you, was no. it? I don't know. Anyway, it's one of my favorite things. Like my sister often serves it at her house because it was her mother-in-law's recipe. She often serves it at her house, like before dinner, like as an appetizer. But if that's there, then I just eat that, and I hardly even want my dinner because it's so good. Lorna, did you get any book suggestions on Instagram? I did. What did you get? Let me do another bit of velvet on this one. Uh, Wanda said she read a couple of Wayne Johnston's. Oh, yeah. And she yeah. said, wow, you know. Yeah. And Angel of Re Repose. Oh, Wallace. Angel of Repose. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Angel of Repose or Angel of Repose? I can't remember. But Wallace oh, Angel, Stegner. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And The Myth of Normal. I don't know what that one is. Who wrote that? Uh, you know me. I'm not very good at these names. That's okay. Gabor Mate. Oh, yeah, Gabriel Mac. Yeah, right. Okay. Another one's looking for Jane. Oh, I don't know that one either. Well, this is going to be good. We're going to get some really good, uh, going to get some really good um, ideas. Mary, are you here to tell us about the wolves today? Oh, uh, did you want that now? We're going to give Mike Mary. We're going to Mike Mary. Yeah, you might as well if you're here. We're all good on Facebook. You checked. But it's not on yet. Uh, no light on? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. the blue light's on. It is. Um, so, yeah, and everything's okay on Facebook. You've got some book suggestions, too. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Mozart's so you're, you want to bring your mic up, Mary, so that your mic is facing you a little bit? So that, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Gosh, I'm watching you do this. There. Uh, paper. <laughs> so, Greg has been busy. Um, Deanne got a... Didn't look like it on that Facebook post yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed all that. I don't know where I was when that happened, but, um, Greg has been very busy. And, um, so Deanne had gotten this product in. It's called Fig Softy and it's on the new and featured products. And it's kind of like the feel of a big Merino a little bit. Hooks yeah, up a little but it bit has like a that. twist, which makes it really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. So um, he dyed 13 colors originally, which um, his comment was, I shouldn't have done 13. That's an unlucky number. And I should have just done 12 or I should have done 14. Anyway, so I said, Greg, that's great. So I filled the little cubbies yesterday with 13 and I had two empty cubbies and apparently that bothered him. So then he dyed two more colors. Oh, last night? The yesterday afternoon. Oh. Yeah. So, um, so now we have 15. Um, new big softies and they're all lovely and I have them all in order because I haven't quite got them memorized yet since they're brand new um, So we're going to start on this end closest to Angela and He this is one of the ones he added late in the day yesterday, and that's called Valentine's blush Which is just appropriate for the time of year and the next one which is his favorite Which he died yesterday afternoon is called water's edge and that's lovely. And the next one is called Tantramar Sand. And then we have Hydrangea. And the next one is Sweet William. And Wallace Bay. Acadian Fields. Kiss the Earth. Uh, spring Pasture. Bay of Fundy Fog, Amber, Frost Kissed Field, Evening at the Beach, Buttercup Field, and Cosmos is the last one. So really good variety of blues and greens and some neutrals and some pinks. So that is the new collection, or no, I shouldn't say collection, but it's a new group well, of big softies. Well, it is a collection, but yeah. yeah. And but again, you can buy them individually. They can. Yeah. And they are $29.95 each. 
And again, you can find those under new and featured products right at the very tippy top. I've pushed them all to the top so you can find them easily. And all the um, neutrals are still on new and featured products as well. And that's it. Thanks, Mary. You're you welcome. do such a good job at that. Now, Thank should you. I take one of those for this rug, do you think, so we can show what that hook's up like? Sure. Which one would you think I should go with? The You're still working on neutrals? Hi, Lily. Come on in. Do you want to try that one? or? Uh, yeah, or that pale. Can you bring over those three and the pale pink? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. So, um, And I'll give the mic to Lily. She's yeah, coming. I think give the mic to Lily. Yeah. Just give the mic to Lily. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll give the mic to Lily. She, I'm just worried what she might say. I'll let you take your all. coat off first. I'm such an expert on her. Lily's like my old, old, old good friend. Well, we've been friends for like 30 years now, Lil. Old is the awkward word, isn't it? Yeah. You better get your mic on there, Lily, if oh, you want to talk. Yeah. Or everybody gets mad if you Where don't do have a mic on. Stuff? Yeah, I don't. Know. I'm not used to being a movie star. <laughs> okay. There. Thank you. You're on your way. I'll get your autograph later. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, is this it? Old is the operant word. Dan, I don't like you using that word old always to reference to me. Okay? Now, my that. old friend. This doesn't mean you're old. I, I, I brought you a, I brought you a muffin tin. Oh, good. Good. Thank you. Let who, me see it. Who who do you know that doesn't have a muffin tin? But Dan, she's got everything in the world. Everything you. that you could oh, possibly lovely. have glamorous, and she doesn't have a muffin tin. It's not the best quality, but it's good enough for you. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. You're welcome. And I Thanks. brought you sheets, too. And Lily got me my sheets, too. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Lily does my shopping. <laughs> Not really. But sometimes she, she's just good at stuff. I didn't have a muffin tin because I was making rolls on the weekend. I brought in my homemade bread, Lily. Oh, I was good. making rolls on the weekend, and I wanted to make those little ones, you know, where you have the three little circles. What are those called, Lily? Parker rolls, maybe? I, I you know, know. When you, but I couldn't yeah. make them because I didn't have a muffin tin. Thank you. I'll yeah. pay you for those this, are, no, Those are perfect for muffin tins. Awesome. Okay. I'm All right. Back. Now you're coming to show your rugs off. <laughs> no, well, they're not very good. They're this great. Is, this isn't mine. This is my friend Mary Weber Cooks. Aww. And she gave it to me last year for my birthday piece. It's sweet. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's what, lovely. I, what I like that she's done is she's got these little, um, like, almost little satin. Yeah. I think it's nice. It accents it Doesn't nicely. It? Yeah. Really yeah. beautiful. So mm. that's Mary Weber Cooks. Yeah, she's that's a, beautiful. She's an old friend too. She Not as a, old old as me. No, but she's you're probably been friends with Mary longer than I've been friends with you. No, Mary started at my school. No, that's what I mean. Isn't you've been I think you've been friends with Mary longer than you've been friends with me. No. Oh no? No, oh, Mary no. I hired Mary as a teacher. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. And this is my <laughs> That's hers, Hope. Hope. And that's Lily's. Uh, yeah, that's no, that's Anna's, my granddaughter's. She wanted this one. Yes, but you and made it. I made it. Yeah. Though. And then yeah. I made this one because once I have two granddaughters and the other one wanted one. So I gave me this one. And then the, my son in law was listening to this because the girls are really into crafts because they're. How other... long had you been living with your son in law when this, when this came? I just was wondering. <laughs> How long had you been staying there? I was just curious. Couple, cause... couple of weeks. Three. Yeah, three weeks. <laughs> anyway. But the other grandmother, as I was saying, she's really the craft. She can do everything. She can sew. She can knit. She, this is my only little uh, testament to that I have a craft ability. So the girls are fascinated with crafting, and they sit and they watch everything. So one of the the one that I made this for Anna, I said I have to finish it off, and I'm not very good at sewing. She said, "Don't worry, I'll go downstairs and get Daddy's sewing kit." <sighs> That tells you that my daughter is like me, yeah. and the son is daddy's like, sewing yeah, kit. daddy's so good. But I was happy with that. Anyway, my son-in-law is listening to all the conversation about hope and love, and he said, "When you're finished to those, could you make one for for me and Beth that says peace and quiet?" <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, after she after you've been there for, but you guys get along great. Oh, he yes. loves having you. I don't think he, but was he talk, loves peace and quiet. Too. I think he was talking about the girls more than us because yeah, they're I they're know. a handful. I know. I'm just anyway. teasing, but I just love it. So, do you want to make it? Do you want me to get the piece of burlap linen and you can do it? Sure. Yeah. All I'll right. Go, okay. I'll go. I'll go uh, off in the I'll, distance. No, no, no. You're gonna come with me, and I'm gonna make it. I'll just get you a piece of linen. No pressure. No pressure. You're gonna edit this, right? Are we live? This is live. Oh my this is live. It's already been edited, Lily. <laughs> Come on over. We'll make you peace and quiet. Okay, good. Okay, you should do it in your own hand, your own handwriting. So, oh. how big do you want the pillow to be? Because I don't want well, you just to over one. I don't want to overwhelm you. Well, my daughter is very particular about. 
thing. So, so you could do like a big. lumbar pillow. Yeah, that's a good that idea. That would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then she could hide it behind another pillow if she doesn't like well, it. Well, yeah, she's got about 20. Uh, her husband says it takes like two hours to get into bed by the time you throw all the pillows off the bed. So about like that, that would be cute. And then you could maybe put velvet on the back of it or something. Yeah. Is that too big? No, no, that'll, that'll take me a little bit of time. Okay. All right. I can't believe how you can draw you follow straight. follow the grid. You oh, follow you follow the grid. Okay. All right, so you write your peace and quiet in there. Can I write it? Can I go from this yeah. in? Yeah, of course. However, it looks good. Okay. I kind of want to. So do, you got to. I kind of like my. Uh, I like your handwriting. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, anyway, we'll see. I can always fix it up, right? Yeah. But so you have. To, okay. What? What am I doing wrong? Anything? No, nothing. Already? I'm doing great. I'm kind of going to go like. Is nice this too handwriting. Is this too small? And then I'm going to just do. A little thing for Anne, or do you think? Yeah, she's right, I huh? think no, I think that's yeah. good. And then I'll do quiet. There. Okay. What do you think? I think that's good. Yeah, I, I think you I need to level it a bit. You need. I have, yeah, there's a <clears> yeah. in there. What's <clears> going on? Is the balance is off, right? Yeah, I know. So you could just take the T and run it over and down a little bit, or something like that. You know. So yeah. even something like that you can play you can also put something in here if you wanted to but i think that you could like i like what you're doing hmm. so you so do you want cream for the background yeah i think and maybe like a i don't want any bright colors like for the girls because no it, so you want like, everything soft neutrals so what colors are you going to put in this uh well i'm thinking like cream in the back and yeah. maybe taupe and uh similar like some of those colors that you've got in that one dan okay you want sort of Okay, great. One right? second. I'll go get you some. Now I want to redo my quiet. I want to re. Oh, well, that's such a great thing that this you can. I know, and I'm going to. Do you want to use yarn and cloth, or? Yeah, I like I like yarn. So. Because okay. I used I used yarn all the way around these these. Although yeah. I do find. So there's like Briggs and Little, regular Briggs and Little, mm -hmm. and there's like sparkling Stellina, which will give a little tiny bit of sparkle. And then this is Big Merino. I, I wonder about the sparkle in Beth, though, if she wouldn't like the sparkle. Um, if it's only, if it's subtle, she and would be okay And then there's like some it. soft cream cloth. I like this. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. I like that. that. Okay. Yeah, I like so that that'll a make a nice model I think, background. I think this should be the background. So. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, you won't, you're going to mix the background. Oh, am I? Okay. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I knew she didn't like this. She was telling me what I was doing. Too many lines. Too many lines. You need to do squiggly. Yeah, you're going to. You're going to mix the backgrounds if you want to. I mean, unless you no, want to, no, you want no. to keep your. I think Aunt, uh, Beth would prefer. I think I she would too. too. There's a nice big hunk of white. And then this is a beautiful color. Look at this. So Look should I that. do it like my Neutrals. my uh, viruses that I did last your, year? Your what? Remember I did the two and I was just, they were just kind of haphazard and I call them my um, Corona and my. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kind of do them like yeah. that. What about this? Is that too Yeah, deep? no, that's You perfect. want that for your background? Yeah, okay. I like that. All right, so let's just start there. And now your letters. What about your letters? Um, I'm thinking a little deeper, like a deeper chocolatey brown maybe. Okay, all right. What we might think? have to. What do you ladies think? You think? Are, okay. you allowed, are they allowed to comment? They can talk anytime they want, but they're afraid <laughs> of when they're not mic'd that oh. the people won't hear oh. them, so they have to yell. Okay. Yeah, because we I tried think, to get I think it does. Yeah, I think darker, Dan. Than no, that. that's just for your background. Oh, okay. So we could go like with a dark gray. Hang on. I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, gray is good. We know whatever suggestion we make, if she doesn't like it, it's not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I learned that too. You should have seen me trying to get this. That's First, I had a gone. yellow I had a yellow canary on here. Well, you can uh, see why I thought that was a bad idea. Like, it, I was, mean, it was, but it was really cute. It was well drawn. But anyway, it was, she thought I should have more. I thought it was a heart. Yeah, well, well, no, this is yellow. It wasn't a heart. It's gray. Yeah. I'm going out to get you some brown. I'll be right back. Okay. Lily, yeah. there's you, my. It's live, so don't go, you know, don't just say... maybe you should come with me so I can keep an eye on you. I don't say anything about her. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you so much. I've known Deanne since we were at Acadia back in 1989. That's when I first met her. She was in my master's in counseling course. Right. And uh, I wondered who she was. Like, who is this person who thinks she knows everything? And I was like a teacher. And she was so, uh, I, I'll I use the word confident. 
I won't use the, the word I often use. Some of the haw haw off the stage. <laughs> All right. Just which one? Do you like uh, any of these? You don't like any of these. No, I like this one. Do you? Yeah, you I do. You like that chocolate brown? I do like that chocolate brown. Okay, just I put think that it in goes there. with everything. Don't it you? It goes with everything, but it's a little flat. I think. Oh, okay. I don't well, know. what about this one? Is that one better? No, I don't know. I think no, I'm just going to go out one. and look around. Maybe one of our new ones, anyone here, like she brought in this. Or, or this one, Deanne. This is nice. That's I know nice. Beth wears this color all the oh, time. Oh, well, there you go. That's good. That's mm -hmm. a good sign. How about that? I brought that one over. Yeah, I think that one's good. Okay. Okay. I think maybe we just take this out of here. I think that's too flat. All right. So these are maybe so. Okay. Do you like this in there? Yeah, I like the pinkish okay. the the pinkish hue of that. Too. Yeah. Okay. It's nice... All right. Let's go with that. It goes with my sweater yeah, a little. Yeah, it's a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. No. But. We can find another color. If you but don't okay, like here's it. a question yeah. I have for you. Yeah. Should I start with the peace and quiet? Yes. That's what I definitely. did before. Yeah, definitely start I'd with start your Start with your letters first. Yeah. But I'm not sure. See, with these, I did a border, and I don't know about bordering. On... I don't think you need a border on this no, one. No, I'd rather no, not. I don't no. think. I think if you could just find a beautiful piece of velvet, because that way, if you have a nice velvet pillow, you can always turn it over and put your mm -hmm. head on it you know it's yeah the nice. pillow thing i'll have to get the other grandmother to do yeah that's okay right? she would do that yeah. for you yeah she does lots for you she's yeah. good to you yeah so yeah. or corinne yeah or corinne, corinne could do yeah. it yeah right nice to have friends that mm -hmm. help you. who can sew yeah or we can come up with another color if this isn't right like once you get going but what about, yeah or what about what well like almost like a blacky like close to a black well, charcoal -y I, I did think about or that. that i thought about that charcoal color mm, there i know it doesn't work does it uh, thought about this then it's very I, I do like that mm -hmm. you know yeah I do too with, yeah. the, with the peace and quiet this color yeah yeah, yeah. or even just like nice. mixed blacks yeah I like that I do too taking all my black now better than brown I like yeah I like that better too yeah yeah I didn't really like the brown and white no no I do like that I think this end. will look really nice mm. yeah yeah all right I'll cut you off some of that Hang on, I gotta get my scissors. Okay. All right, Lily. That's good. No, I'm I'm liking how that will look. And it's not too big. I can manage it. I like to do it when I'm watching television. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. Just Whatever. Nice... It's good. So I'm gonna cut this off for you. Okay. This, this will do you, I'd say. I don't know, you might need a bit more black. Or even like I like more of this. More of that? Okay, mm -hmm. I've got more of that right there. Mm -hmm. I do like this. I'm using that in the rug I'm using now, so I'll have to cut now, some more of that. Okay. one of my friends said yeah. when I did this, because yeah. the, the yarn wasn't very thick like this stuff, yeah. that I should double it. What do you you can. You can. It can makes I, it easier. Doubling yeah. it? Well, it goes along a lot faster sometimes, Oh. especially in the background. Okay. Yeah. So these I'm just going to sort of do, not in lines, but in little yeah. circular. Just, just move it around. Do some lines, some, some straight, some not straight. Mm -hmm. I got to show people how to hook with this new yarn that we have. Okay. So I'm leaving you, Lily, for a minute. Okay, go. Yes, good. Leave yeah. me. You want to come over and I'll show you? Sure. Something. So this is a new yarn. What's it called again, you guys? Big Softy. Big Softy. There we go. Lily, I have your birthday present. Oh, good. I thought this was it. No. I had, I had a little something that I thought you'd enjoy. Oh, yeah. Good. You know what I bought today on the what way here? What did you buy on the way here, Lily? I bought a um, goosenecked kettle. Oh, yeah, that's good for pour overs. That's right. Yeah. And guess what? What? Because you know me, I'm so frugal. Yeah. I went in this morning because I was looking for a muffin tin, but the muffin tins there were, I thought, too expensive. For your first oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. So <laughs> not worth not <laughs> worth a $20 muffin tin. No, this would, no, some of them are like, $30, $30. Oh, really? No, I probably, for what I'm going to use it, I don't no. need it. But they had, uh, they, they were $65. And <gasps> I thought, the no, muffin tin? No, no, for the poor, the, uh, the kettle. Gooseneck, uh, goose nose, yeah, whatever. Yeah, gooseneck kettle. It has a skinny, yes, yeah. skinny kettle. Anyway, $65. I said, well, that's not, I'm not going to be paying yeah. for that. Yeah. Anyway, the guys were there and they said, we're just putting these on sales. $22. Oh, my gosh. I should have bought you one. Oh, that's great. I love the muffin tin. I'm glad to have one. Yeah, but yeah, but you have a, a goose. I had a muffin tin and it got all rusty. No, no I don't have a gooseneck kettle, but I have a kettle. Okay. I'll do. I just hold it high. Oh, okay. I do my pour overs. 
Um, so this is called Big Softy. You might want to take a few oh, strands of that for I your like background. That. See, isn't that nice? That is beautiful. I know. Here, take some of that. Big Softy. So I'm going to take Big Softy now and I'm going to hook it. So this is Big Softy and you can see it has a twist. Let's see how many plies are there to that. It's a three ply twist. Okay. I'm going to put my hook down and we're going to bring up the Big Softy. We've probably gone over time today, have we? We don't just a minute just a minute okay we don't oh. very often do that but doesn't that hook up nice does it ever yeah it's a beauty so we're in the next week we're we're just catching up on our uh orders we had a lot of neutral orders and they're all getting ready to go out greg's been dying like a fiend and i know that you know that a lot of times we're making the thing that we're sending you so um just be patient with us we are getting to all the orders thank you and just there isn't that nice and what a nice contrast in texture that makes yeah i love this okay great mm. all right so rug hooking is a beautiful pastime it does offer you a lot of peace and quiet it really does doesn't yeah, it it does yeah. that's a good analogy and when you share rug hooking you just never know what you're sharing with somebody because mm. you're given the opportunity to find community either online or in um, in their own real communities because there are hooking groups everywhere now and i just want to thank you for watching for being part of the community at deanne fitzpatrick studio some of you i know watch every week and you comment and you take all my workshops and you're you're so supportive and so good and don't think we don't know that here because we do Thank you very much. And I'm glad to introduce you to my good friend, Lily. I love Lily. We've been friends for 30, uh, I'm 57. Mm -hmm. I met you when I was 24, 33 years. Mm -hmm. 33 yeah. years. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. That is. We seem so like, seems like a long time ago, but we were in school together. So I told him that. I, oh yeah. Yeah. I told him about meeting you at the university, Acadia. Yeah. yeah. We met at Acadia. Yeah. 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 No. We stayed good friends. We have. It's amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. You should not that easy, really. <laughs> I'm sure it is anyway. <laughs> I love you. So reach out to your friends and see them. Make sure oh, you stay cute. in touch. Thanks for coming up today. And Lily just was coming today. Um, and mm. she had a birthday this week. So yeah. She, her husband drove her up for her birthday. Yeah. Did that was come? my, that was my present. He's going to see Robert, I think. Oh, that's nice. All right. Mm -hmm. See you guys. Bye. Take care. Thanks for watching.